Hi, George Crump with Verge.io. Today we're going to talk about uh, our snapshot technology. We spoke a little bit about it, but I want to dive a little deeper. Uh, our snapshot technology is very unique in the industry. Uh, if you look at uh, the history of most snapshots, uh, you'll find that you know, really things took a change for the better uh, in the NetApp in the mid 90s when NetApp came out with redirect on write snapshots. Basically, they were manipulating inode tables or file allocation tables to present this image, if you will, that didn't create much space, uh, but consume much capacity. Well, so the way that worked is what you would do is when you had your core volume here and you took your snapshot of it. Uh, that would create, if you will, a point in time image with some changed metadata. And then you would take another snapshot and another snapshot and another snapshot. And, you know, these could be, you know, just make it simple Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? Uh, so pretty powerful. You could bring any one of these back, essentially uh, combine it with... Essentially, you're going to cook when you said, Hey, I want to see Wednesday. It's basically combining uh, the, the information from these three to present that image, right? Uh, and so the uh, it, it was nice, it was fast, uh, it was relatively space efficient. But as you developed a deeper and deeper tree, it got very complex. And if you wanted to do something like delete a, a set of snapshots in the middle, uh, the the process to, if the storage uh, supported it, the process, if you will, to re-sew this together was incredibly time consuming. Uh, and of course, if the uh, primary volume uh, ever went bad, uh, all, all these snapshots are useless. And which, you know, even VMware's own documentation says don't count on snapshots as a form of backup. Uh, and speaking of VMware and, and the way vSAN works, same same challenge here. You know, again, we've got our layered approach uh, with VMware, and when it's taking snapshots, that all the technology to do the snapshot technology uh, is uh, separate from everything else in the environment, separate metadata, and it follows the same uh, you know uh, tree methodology uh, of presenting snapshot images. Now, uh, what uh, Verge I.O. does that's uh, different is, first of all, it, instead of building off of an inode system or a uh, file allocation table, we re-looked at things and said, you know, we've got our deduplication engine built right into the core of the OS, right? And the, the way that works, as I explained before, is, you know, we just, uh, when we have data we've seen before, we just update metadata. When I have unique data, I store it. And so what we thought is, okay, well, let's just have people, when they take a snapshot, let's just take a full copy. And so when you're uh, taking a, a snapshot in our environment, what you're actually doing is making a full copy of whatever you're uh, snapshotting. And so, uh, so, and you can, by the way, you can snapshot at a VM level, you can snapshot the virtual data center or the tenant, uh, or you can snapshot uh, the entire instance. And you can do all three uh, uh, within the same uh, process. Now, when, when I take that snapshot, what's actually happening is I'm actually making a full copy, but dedupe kicks in. And when I present that, uh, there's no capacity impact as a result of doing that. But I gain independence, right? And so this snapshot now is not dependent on the thing that created it. It's essentially a standalone entity. Now you could use these for backups. You could fire them off every 20, 30, 40 minutes and they could be backups uh, for you. It adheres to that three, two, one rule better because of this independence. You could also, let's say you were uh, uh, working here and uh, you needed to create another uh, uh, workload or deploy another workload or application or something. And it looked very similar to the way you had this virtual data center deployed. Or again, uh, so if you're at the VM level, that the way that VM is deployed. Well, you could essentially take that snapshot, bring this into production. And uh, this again becomes, even though it's space efficient, didn't consume any capacity, it is essentially a standalone copy to the point that you could even delete this this guy would be unaffected. So very powerful. 
This makes for a really uh, powerful uh, uh, recovery from ransomware uh, type of situation, things like that as well. But the, the value of our snapshots is they are independent. They are technically clones leveraging our deduplication algorithm. Uh, but it takes you know a millisecond or so to, to create the, the snapshot the snapshot's totally independent at that point, at least initially doesn't uh, consume any additional capacity. Uh, so very, very powerful and fits in perfectly with a three, two, one rule uh, type of backup strategy. So that's how our snapshot technology works. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm George Crump with Verge.io.